For all of my adult life, I have thought nothing of just nipping to the supermarket when some shopping needed to be done. That is, until the last few weeks. I haven't always been able to afford what I've wanted, and many still can't, but I've never felt excluded. We have taken for granted that what we need will be available, and that we can have access to it when we need it. Now, I haven't been shopping myself for the past couple of weeks, but I'm told that staff are being placed now at the entrance of supermarkets to limit the number of people in at any one time. It is one out and one in, with the staff ensuring that trolleys are then sanitised before anybody goes in the shop. This coronavirus pandemic has changed everything. And everything will remain the same whilst this disease has a hold over us. Now, the chief purpose of humanity is not shopping, even if our consumerist culture often suggests otherwise. No, the chief purpose of humanity is to find joy in the presence of the loving Creator God forever. But human beings often choose injustice over justice, self fulfillment over fulfilment through love and grace. And sadly, the malady of human transgression changed everything and the entry to God's presence was restricted. Who then may ascend the mountain of the Lord to stand in his holy place? Who may go in to the presence of God? Our psalm today for Easter Sunday is Psalm 24. Of David, a psalm. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. For he founded it on the seas and established it on the waters. Who may ascend the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? The one who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not trust in an idol or swear by a false god. They will receive blessing from the Lord and vindication from God their Saviour. Such is the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face, God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, you gates. Be lifted up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, you gates. Lift them up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is he, this King of glory? The Lord Almighty, he is the King of glory. Today we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. It was Jesus, the Messiah, the Christ, who had promised that his followers may dwell in the kingdom of God. It was Jesus who himself carried the burden of injustice and transgression, although he himself was pure and true. It was Jesus that nailed such malady to the cross that it may be forgiven and overcome. It is for Jesus that the ancient doors were opened, that he may lead his people in. When Jesus died, the veil in the temple which separated the Holy of Holies from the people was torn in two from top to bottom. This place was so special that even the high priest could only pass it but once a year. The veil itself was perhaps 15 metres high and a hand's breadth in thickness. To tear it from the top was impossible for human beings. But when Jesus died, the barrier was destroyed. Jesus has opened the way to the presence of God for the people. He is the King of glory, the one who may ascend the mountain of the Lord and stand in his holy place. And now he leads all who would follow him into the presence of God 
where they may dwell forever. The malady of human transgression no longer has a hold over us. We are forgiven in him, and new life has come. Life in the presence of God is restored, for Christ our Lord is risen. And so we pray. God, our Father, we thank you that your light can pierce the darkness and that out of deadness you bring life. We pray that the newness that only you can bring may be found in our lives and in the life of the world. May we live anew in the duties of each day. Often we become bound by routine and forget the usefulness of our work to others. So help us to trust that our work has a place in your purpose and give us strength to go about it enthusiastically. Today especially we thank you for those whose essential work serves us today, for those who work in the National Health Service and for those who work in shops. May we live anew with enhanced family and community relationships, for we can become estranged from others, afraid to renew contact for fear of rebuff. Help us then always to believe in the possibility of reconciliation and renewal. And we pray for life anew in the church, with vision to serve and to praise. Give us the courage to act, and think like the first apostles, that we may do Christ's work today. God, our Father, you are always at work, creating new life. Help us to believe and to play our part in the renewal of your creation. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.